All right, so now we've done, in our big table up here, we've completed the analytic world. Now we're going to move on to the numeric world, getting a numeric sequence of numbers out, not having any idea about what the underlying equation is, but just giving me numbers out. I'm going to start off um, by finding the inverse Z, not using MATLAB. Normally we'd find it by MATLAB, right? I mean, if you want to sequence the numbers out, MATLAB is a natural way to go. But sometimes you just want to find the first or second value of it. And this, guys, is magic. It's beautiful you're going to use plain old long division. If X of Z is equal to this ratio, you can find the first few values or as many values as you want to just simply by dividing the two. And this is the way you'll do it if you want to quickly find your time domain X of naught or X of one. So just do long division without reversing the coefficient order, unlike partial fraction decomposition, you remember for partial fraction deco co for partial fraction decomposition, when making it proper, we reverse the coefficient order to start off with scalars and making it decreasing powers of uh, to start off with the greatest power of z, the negative something, and increasing coefficients of z. But for long division, you're going to keep it just the way it is. We write it like this and we start doing the, the divisions. And what you'll end up getting is one plus stuff. And if, you're, and if you continue to, to, uh, to do the division, you'll continue to get an answer that's in groups of z to the negative two next, and the next will be a z to the negative three, next will be z to the negative four, and it'll continue on. If that's true, if you were to continue to do this forever, you'd end up with a really long answer up here and then you can directly take the inverse Z transform just by inspection. One goes to an impulse, 1.6 goes to a delayed impulse, whatever coefficient is times Z to the negative two goes to an impulse of N negative two. And so this, you can just read out your resulting sequence. Your first time domain waveform here is one. Your second index in the time domain is 1.6 and so on. So if you just need to find your first or your, or your first couple of outputs, um, just do long division way faster than trying to do a partial fraction decomposition for this. Way, way, way faster. I can promise you, you're going to have a question on this on the test. You're going to have a question on this either on the test or on the final on, the, uh, on your FE. This is a great question that they will have on your uh, qualifiers. If you decide to go for a PhD, you're going to see stuff like this. So be able just to take a long division if you just need to find the first couple of coefficients.